Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome back to another brick in the mall. It is the end of a day here in our new mall complex area, although the evening is uh, the party is just getting started here. It's evening time, people are visiting bound cinema bound complex mart thing. <laughs> yeah, our new cinema theater is up and running. We're a little bit low on the cash, we're into negatives. But that should be fine. I'm not going to be doing any time lapses. I'm going to be doing a little bit of micromanagement at the beginning of today's episode. Um, unfortunately, we don't get a, a real cost of the cinema uh, if we go to the uh, manage tab here. Because if we go to the ticket lobby, that's fine. We can see how much the ticket lobby is costing us. But we can't see how much the screens are costing us. Uh, but roughly... Uh, if we take a look, let's see, objects, uh, each spectator seat costs $1 a day, and each movie projector costs $10 a day. So, okay, only $30 a day, theoretically. What about the door? Maintenance costs a dollar. <laughs> what about walls? I never saw this, if walls and foundations cost maintenance. So technically, each screen costs $31 a day, so that's four screens, so that's $124. Add that onto here. So basically... As long as the net profit is above $124, then we're we're still making bank, which is good. You can see, obviously, down here, uh, we're having issues with people leaving without buying stuff, and people leaving because they're hungry, and because the queues are full. So it looks like we may have to invest in some extra staff members at the end at Spoonies, but... Uh, Spoonies is going to be going away anyway. Uh, I want to try and increase the sales, let's speed up time, of a couple of stores. So we have the bookstore here with toys uh, and media, as well as the homeware store here. So I'm going to try something and see if it works. Um, I'm going to remove those items from Bound Mart. Uh, so for instance, I can see right here we have uh, dishes and cookware. I think this is bed sheets. Yeah, bed sheets. So we can get rid of bed sheets as well. Because that's stuff which uh, Bound Mart sells. I'm also going to get rid of, yeah, cosmetics and the shaving cream there as well. Because um, that's in uh, Dazzling Beauty. What about these two? Deodorants and tooth care. Oh, and the light bulbs. Actually, let's get rid of light bulbs. And let's get rid of these two as well. Actually, no, I don't want to get rid of these two. Because these two are currently... Um, blocking off queues to help our management so what if we switch this to something else like I don't really know actually um, something which we've already got in stock so hang on what if we've got a detergents here and so oh, but then again we sell so soaps and shampoos so <laughs> okay let's get rid of these and we'll set these both to detergents how about that uh, where are we detergents five wait we already said is that in the homeware store as well? Bob's and electricity detergents. Oh my goodness. We sell pretty much everything in the homeware store now. Uh, what are these? Toilet paper, pads and tampons, diapers. You know what? We're going to sell more toilet paper. Because... <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's let's sell like... Oh my, where, are, where is it? Household item. No? No toilet paper. There we are. Right there. Health and beauty. Toilet paper. Health and beauty. Toilet paper. Then up in this corner. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll keep that. Uh, let's just say like more pads and tampons then. Okay, cool. So <laughs> maybe that will see an increase sales uh, or an increase in sales in um, dazzling beauty and also in uh, what was it called? I forgot this. Oh yeah, bullseye. Maybe we'll see an increase in sales in bullseye as well. Only time will tell. Okay. I also, when we get some more money, I want to expand the jewelry store just very slightly. Um, just by like two spaces up there so that we can have the potential to add in an extra queue. Uh, because I feel like once we add in more traffic, um, the jewelry store will be busier and we don't have the ability to expand at the time or at the current time because we've only got one queue. With our other stores, we could expand if we wanted to, because we could have up to four cashiers a day. Although I think this this part of the mall is only open nine till five at the moment, so up to two cashiers a day. Because at the minute we've only got one person working each till, 
uh, 9 till 5. So that's why I have two tills in each store. Okay, good. I'm not sure how far I want to expand upwards because next episode I want to work on fleshing out uh, this area. In fact, the comment of the episode comes from someone that was a little bit confused about what I'd done. At least I think they're a little bit confused. I'm, I didn't quite fully understand the comment, but I'm going to go over it anyway. Uh, it's from Burning Shadow. Nice episode. I noticed that you forgot to add a wall between the bottom of the outer right and left rooms in Cinnabound and the rest of them all. I thought I would mention it seeing as he said you wanted to use the space for something else. I think he means either here or here. Uh, yeah, basically, it's I'm pretty much doing the same as what I've done here. I'm going to build out the the whole the whole area first, the corridor as well as the potential store areas, and then I'm going to put the stores in afterwards. I've also been thinking like this is going to be where the three corridors sort of collate together. So I want to have some kind of cool atrium area. So I'm thinking I might wrap the corridors like around this way and have one store in the middle. And that leads out there. Maybe maybe I do the whole uh, food court thing in the middle there. Might be kind of cool. Just literally have a wall back there with a single box that has the um, the food in it. <laughs> the storage. And then have like the fast food stuff there. I don't know. I, it might be something to think about. I haven't really thought about what I'm going to do with the quote unquote atrium area yet. It's close to the end of the day. Looks like we're going to be making not a lot of profit, but it should bring us to over two grand. Fantastic. I want to work on prettying up this area of the mall. Uh, so I feel like I've got to do another day in order to get that. Uh, let's take a look and see how well Bullseye did. Minus 13%. Not amazing. We're still losing money, but it doesn't matter because soon we'll have more people coming in here. Books, 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 though. 33% profit margin. Very nice. And what about Jamie's Jewels? 94%. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I just love it when you just get lots and lots of money. Yeah, restaurants. Cues are full in Bound Mart. Uh, leaving Cinnabound. Wow, that's interesting. Dazzling Beauty and Spoonies. 19 people. Okay. Right. I've been talking for long enough. We need to start working on stuff. Um, first of all, I definitely want to put in a door, although it is a thousand dollars. Great, that's pretty much all of the work I can do today, isn't it? Let's head on over to Bound Mart and see exactly what's going. Okay, it looks like lots of people are going to the pet food here, which is surprising actually. Oh, and hey, you guys never gave me an idea for what to call a meat store, so boohoo to you guys. Like, <laughs> I'm joking. I'll, I'll think of something. Um, Okay, yeah, the Bound Mart store is getting quite full. Camacromi and Finch has been doing a lot better, though. Probably because we extended the hours, but... Remember, the new clothing store we build. I don't know if it's going to be Camacromi and Finch or not. We need to make it so there's two queues. At least two queues in there. Uh, because the one store... Oh my goodness, I haven't checked this for ages, actually. Um, DB World. Let's take a look. Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is... Like, let's see, profit, 23,000 gross. That's a third of our profit in one store right there. I mean, if I could increase the profit, then I would, but I don't see how I'm going to do that. Like, technically, I could have the stock clock in for less time, but I think I've actually currently got two stock clocks in. Um, so, yeah, whatever. I think it's working fine. I'm really just waiting out time uh, to try and get some more cash in, which could be fantastic. Again, quite a lower profit today. Doesn't seem that great. Let's speed up time. Maximum speed. I know I don't like doing it much, but when time... Or when I'm waiting for time to finish so that I can actually do something in the episode is kind of important. Aha. Uh -huh. Looks like I'm going to need some stock clerks. Oh, could that be what the problem with Spoonies is? There's no stock clerk filling up the food. Let's take a look. Fast food restaurant stuff. Uh, so we've got... We need a stock clock in later. Of course, because we're going to be busier now. So let's have both the stock clocks in for six hours. And that way we shouldn't run out of food during the evening. I never noticed that before. So basically the stock clock needs to bring food to the cook. It seems stupid. It really does seem stupid to have a stock clock dedicated to that task. You know, that's the only thing we have to hire a stock clock for. It looks like the stock clock needs to bring food to the cook so that he can actually cook it. The cook can't go and get food, apparently. But hey-ho, it's the end of the day. Boom. Make more bank. Cool. How much did we get? Like, 16 grand? 16 grand. Let's, first of all, 
uh, flesh out our cinema here, and I kind of want to make it look like it's a red carpet. Uh, so if we go to floor tiles, I want like red carpet down the middle. Do I want red carpet down the middle? Oops. Well, I got red carpet there, that's for sure. Um, let's put red carpet there. There. So in the screen, because, you know, you typically have red carpets in the screen. Do I just have red carpets in here as well, or do I do like some cool boardwalk thing? Dang it. <laughs> um, something like this is what I was thinking. Uh, and then go to like there and there. That was my thought, and then have like laminate flooring around the outside, although I think I'm just going to go ahead and just make it all red carpet anyway, that way it's kind of like obvious where... Have I run out of money already? Jeez, okay. So... <laughs> I've now spent... Oh, that looks hideous. <laughs> oh, in fa... Whoa! I spent... I'm, I'm spending more money than I actually have on floor tiles. I'm in negative money and it's not letting me stop. That's interesting. What if I was to switch to that? Huh? How strange. 600, 500, 4, 3. How weird. There's some sort of size constraints. So if I do 3 across, it will let me put it in. If I go down to four down, it won't. So anything, if one of the edges is longer, or if both edges are longer than four by four, it won't let you go over. But if it's less than four by four, it will. Huh, how strange. I'm just gonna go into debt and do this anyway because I want it to look pretty. <laughs> um, let's get the gray ones in here. That is such a bizarre. Thing. And I know I'm spending way too much money that I don't have, but I don't care. <laughs> I want my store to look pretty. Okay, I want to actually do progress in this episode. You know what, let's just speed up time because I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. Uh, and in these stores, uh, what do we want? So a bookstore, you kind of have carpet in a bookstore, don't you? And then I think what I want in the main mall is... Uh, like wooden laminate flooring. So let's go like this. How strange that it, we can do a, a three wide flooring and we can just go into depth because of it. Okay, like so. And then let's do carpets in here. Like this. In the jewelry store, definitely we want carpets in there because it's fancy. Let's put some flooring behind the doors or under the doors for there. Um, and then we just need, like, flooring for books, 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 and for the home goods store. Although for the home goods store, I'm kind of tempted just to go with normal tiles, just maybe a slightly different color. Um, maybe yellow. Let's go yellow. Actually, it'll be quicker if I do it like that. Oh my goodness, it's costing us so much money! <laughs> ah, okay. And for the bookstore, let's just go green. Why not? Okay, we are back in debt again, guys. Uh, but hey, our store is looking a lot prettier. Uh, I think I'm gonna call it quits here. I'm, I'm sorry we didn't really do much. Hey, less people left because of Spoonies, I think. Oh no, let's have a look. Do we do we have food in Spoonies? Yeah, the, he, at least he's got food, so that's good. Um, we are quite far in debt again now. Dang it, man. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Another Brick in the Mall. Uh, I'm going to do a time lapse at the beginning of next episode while I get some more money, uh, because obviously we're 25k down. I want to get some more. I want to get a lot more money so that I can start expanding the mall. I just want to get a bit more shape. Maybe expand like 20 blocks this way in the shape that I want to, and 20 blocks this way too. Um, so yeah, I'm going to time lapse at the beginning of next episode to get some money, and we will work on that and put some more stores in because obviously we need more profit because our profit is starting to plummet a bit. So that's going to do it for today guys, thank you all very much for watching and I of course will see you all in the next one. Bye bye guys.